Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah. Hey guys. So we do want some very nostalgic curved tips or whatever. Well curved nails. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anywho, um, so I start by, you know, cleaning up the edge to keep it a length. So I'm just cleaning up the free edge and then I'm going to uh uh, what do you call it? I always get tongue tied with this part. What do you call that? Hmm. I'm going to f- blend the natural nail and the tip together, but I only showed y'all two nails because we dangle not good, so I just turned it off. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so boom, we gonna prep, prom, all that good stuff. You know, you know, you know the vibes. Um, the primer I'm using is No Lift Nail Primer. So, yeah, then we're going to do a, a thin layer of clear on top of that. You dig when I'm seeing shorty. So, yeah, the um clear I'm using is from Mia Secret. The monomer is Nail Supply Glamour. Yeah, girl. The brush I'm using is from Ideal Beauty. I love that brush, man. Y'all have absolutely no idea how much I love them brushes. I got two of them, and I just love them. For sure, for sure. For sure and for sure. But yeah, make sure you make you make that uh lay of clear thin. Make sure you get it all over the natural nail. Okay. And people say we do that because we don't want to lift it. Also when your client comes back to if they want to get a color change, you know. You can drill it all the way down to the clear, or at least close to the clear, because by the time you get to the clear, it be burning a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you, my clients say it burn a little bit. Yeah, they be like, it burn a little bit. <coughs> Freak, I, I didn't pause this there on video like two or three times, because I'm having a cough attack. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on, but um, I got a few videos I need to put out, so bear with me. I'm trying to clear up some space. Um, the color that I'm using is from hmm, Nail House, and this is HBIC. Y'all know what that means? It means head, Barbie, in charge. If you ain't know, now you know. And the B can stand for a lot of things, like Junie B. Jones. You feel me? So let's not get it twisted. All right. All right. So when you're doing these curve tips, please make sure you are stacking your beads right on top of each other to emphasize the curve. OK, we emphasize in the curve. We not trying to knock it out. We want to keep it. And I did make this acrylic a little bit thicker because I did not want it to be uh, see through. I wanted it to be as opaque as for as I can possibly make it. But the bad thing about that is I used almost my whole jar. Hmm. Nobody like that. I did not like that at all. Mm -mm. And I do have uh, this application sped up. So please be mindful. Of course, I do not work this fast at all. I don't. I do not. And I will be encapsulating these nails with clear. Because they are glitter. So it's going to be a thin layer of clear. Ain't going to be no whole thick layer. And um, plus I'm already building. The nail is good structure wise however i just need to encapsulate like, because it got glitter on it so yeah make sure you seal that cuticle with that brush yeah 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 just like that mm -hmm. and making sure that i have the same opacity throughout my nail set so that means if i gotta put a little extra i just gotta put a little extra it's okay boom bring it on down bring it on down keep the shape keep the shape baby Make sure that thickness is what it's supposed to be. Tame the top, tame the top, tame the top. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the goddamn old vibes. Ain't nothing changed. Literally, nothing has changed. So like I said, it's just a thin layer of clear. I mean, not clear, a thin layer. Yo, well, yeah, a thin layer of clear on top for the um encapsulation. I literally keep having to stop this recording just to cough okay so yeah making sure we keep the shape when we lay them when we lay them bees down keep the shape keep the shape keep the opacity as well 
uh oh, brush must be getting dirty because the acrylic is not coming off of it. But you know, we're gonna keep on going. Stacked in beads right on top, tame the top of it, tame the top of it. Keep on going, keep on going. Seal that cuticle, excuse my head. It's big, I know. Keeping the opacity. Yes, ma'am. Yazerski vibes. Boom, boom, boom. Keep the shape, keep the shape. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Keep the shape, clean it up, clean it up. <coughs> Next beat. Sorry. Keep the shape, tame the top, and bring it on down. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Bring it on down. Keep the shape, keep the shape. That be going right on top. Boom, just like that. Tame the top, tame the top. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Y'all see the carving them nails? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all where I got the tips from. I got the tips from Shellville. Shellville. Something like that on Instagram. Something like that on Instagram. I can't remember um exactly how to say it but yeah i got um the tips from her love these tips bring it on down bring it on down they're super thin which is why um i would prefer to keep them the shape that they are or make them still little by just cutting them so yeah and they do have a it's like a tapered coffin borderline oh yeah tapered coffin excuse me i'm sorry <clears throat> It's like a tapered square borderline coffin. So, yeah. The shape is not bad to keep. Um, so, yeah. Look at that curve on them things. One more beat. Tame with top, tame with top. It was looking uh, transparent. So, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Any places where it's looking transparent, make sure you go back in and curve it up. If you're looking for a specific look, just make sure... You got all your nails looking the same. So, yeah. But we are um, encapsulating. I'm not sure why I did this in multiple beads. I'm really not sure. I'm not sure why I did that in multiple beads and I did the other ones in one bead. I don't know. But look at that curve, though. Hopefully, I do this in one bead. And I did. Okay. We wasting time. We is wasting time. But it is what it is. It's done and over with. This whole set is done and over with. So, yep. Yeah. 1B, we're doing 3B method right here. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because we're going to put another beat at the top. And we did. That was a 4B method. Okay. Yeah, it looks so good, though. I can't even say that don't, don't look good. I'm not sure why I changed the method. Because it didn't need a thick encapsulation. So, I'm not really sure, guys. I couldn't tell you what my mindset was doing or what was going on um and the nails that I have on my fingers I did record them however I was out of the frame the whole entire time so I had to scrap the video so I do apologize about that I do apologize about that right there Boom, done with that. All right, so I'm only finna show you this pinky nail and not even the whole pinky nail. I think it's just a piece of the pinky nail. You drop a bead, pick it back up. Pick that motherfucker back up, all right? All right, on to the next. So now we finna reshape. I'm using an 8080 grit hand file from Tulip Deals. Yes, I am, and it's square. I think it's zebra. It's either zebra or white. So what do I always tell you guys? You need to taper them nails into the finger. The them nails need to look crisp and fresh and just yeah. They look they need to look like they fit on the finger for sure, for sure. For sure and for sure. So yes, ma'am, you are ski vibes. We're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. Right now we're just working on the size, the size of the nail. We tapering them in because with a natural nail and the tip meet, the acrylic tends to expand right there it always looks a little bit more bulkier so yeah we squaring off them ends we squaring off them ends i'm not sure why i flipped her hand over i don't know so yeah we gonna go through and i am really rough like and as you can see i am using my fingers to make sure that I'm not 
putting any unnecessary pressure on these nails because it does hurt when you are not holding it on the opposite side that you're fouling. It does hurt. I know it does because it hurt me. So, yeah. You see my hands on the other side, my fingers on the other side of the nail. And over there, you see how my um, middle finger is trying to hold it to the side. So, I guess I flipped it over so we can, you know, crisping up the edges. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Pressure, 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 pressure. I'm pressure-licious. So, yeah. Uh-huh. That free edge. Right now, I'm about to pull out a... um. I don't know. I thought this was this is them one of them five and one bits. I didn't really like it though. I prefer to use a sanding band, but it is what it is. So we're gonna go through it. And I did have an extra fine. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Maybe I need it in like a medium grit or something. So yeah. And it doesn't really get close to the cuticle like I needed to do. Like a regular drill bit will. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah. Look at me cutting down the bulk around the edge. This is something that I would actually do with the sanding band, typically. So, I just use this instead. I just still have to go back with my taper pen a bit after this so I can seal the cuticles the way I like for them to be sealed. But that's neither here nor there. See, if I had my uh, sanding band, it wouldn't even be like this. But this look good, though. Look real good. Clean off the excess nail from under the under there. Uh huh. Look at that curve, baby. <clears throat> uh huh. Bring it down. Bring it down some of the bulk. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go around. I'm sorry, y'all can't see a goddamn thing. My big ass head in the way. My bad. My bad, y'all. Eventually, you're going to be able to see. That's why I kept this part in the video. I swear. I swear. I swear. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. We back in the, We back in this thing. We're going down a nail, across the nail. We're getting the bottom dips and lumps and bumps. We're getting all that out with this drill bit right here. I might have to try to get this drill bit another chance because it looks like it's doing a good job. Honestly and truthfully, it just looked like it took me too long to get the job done. Whereas my sandy man wouldn't have took that long. <coughs> go up the nail, go up the nail, clean it up, clean it up. Mm -hmm, get rid of them edges. For these nails, I wanted to give it a complete nostalgia look. So I didn't want it to look rounded and not squared off on the edges. Sometimes I like a square off look. But it's literally only sometimes. So, yeah, that's why you see me rounding the sides off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am, your Zersky vibes. Complete 90s look. I'm sorry. All right, all right, there we go. Clean it up, clean it up. Cutting down some of the bulk at the end of the nail. Go up the nail, go up the nail. Cut down some of the bulk around the cuticle. You know, I was watching someone's video and they said that they were having a hard time. Sorry, y'all, I'm still in the way. Jesus Christ. They were having a hard time, like, not having the cuticles as thick. Whatever, they didn't want it to be thick. They wanted it to be thinner. <clears throat> and they had asked someone and they were, the person that they asked was like, Maybe you should use smaller beads. <laughs> and they were like, "It's that was so simple. I knew I should have been using smaller beads. That was crazy. But there's no such thing as a dumb question. Even if you know the answer, it doesn't make it a dumb question. Sometimes we just need confirmation. Okay? And that's fine to need confirmation. Clean up from up under the nail. That excess nail that was up under there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Look at the curves on them. Look at the curvature. Look at the thickness. Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so this thumb, I don't know, it was a little raggedy. Like, that thing was thick as I don't know what. It was so many lumps and bumps and divots up in that dang on thing. 
I don't know how long it takes me. I feel like it takes me a long time. Or I just left it thick. Like, it is what it is at this point. Because, girl. I might have thinned it out. Would you like to wait and see? Because, obviously, we can't see right now. Jesus, why would I leave this in here? Because you can't even see. I can't even see what's going on. But what I am doing is moving the nail from side to side, trying to see where it needs to be fouled at. How can I actually bring down some of the bulk on this mug? Because it is thick. Th 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 thick. Okay? It's really thick. Sometimes I just want to let y'all know right now. Sometimes y'all want to give videos because I hate doing voiceovers. Like, I hate doing voiceovers, y'all. Even though it'd be like a 20 minute video. 18 minute video, 25 minute video. I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't know, it's draining a little bit to try to keep y'all engaged. Look at me. Just daddy trying to cut down some of the bulk in this thick ass goddamn nail. I'm sorry, I'm cussing so much. But Jesus Christ. I'm still not satisfied. I already know I'm not because it's thick as heck. Like, what the heck? And I just keep going at it, keep going at it. Clean up the sides. That'll make it look a little thinner when I clean up the sides. Even if it's not thinner, it's going to make it look thinner. You feel me? Look at that. It comes right off. It comes right off, guys. And I'm still not satisfied. I know my clients be looking like, girl... It, it look good. Like, come on now. All right, so now we're about to seal the cuticles using my panna um, bit. It's a tapered nail bit. Hopefully my head don't get in the way so you guys can get a clear eye view. Okay. Um, mm, mm. Well, see how that went. I got a cough, y'all. Give me one. I'll be right back. I got a cough. I'm always hollering I'll be back, y'all, like. I don't just pause it <laughs> and come back. My bad. But anyways, here we go. Going around the cuticle. Sealing that cuticle. Getting nice and tight. Nice and right. You heard me? Alright, so listen. I know my head keep getting in the way. I know. I know. And I'm sorry. I truly am. I'm sorry. So my goal here is to... I think they call it flush the cuticle. I don't know. But I'm just trying to get up in there and make that cuticle look nice, okay? It's not going to be bulky. It's not going to... It's going to look like it's coming out the nail. Like, she grew a pink nail. Like, that's that's what I want it to look like. Like, she grew like she grew this. Okay? It is no longer artificial. She grew that. It's hers. This is polish. That's it. That's how I want it to look. Thickness and all. Anywho, look at them curves, y'all. Look at them curves. All right, take your time when you're going around the cuticle. Please take it. I, I am taking my time. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm really taking my time. This is sped up. Not as sped up as the application process was, but this is sped up. And I still look like I'm going slow. So that's how slow I truly be going around these people's cuticles because I don't want to create a ring of fire. I'm sorry. I was really just talking fast as fuck. And yeah, no. All right, so here we go. We're gonna use this file. We're gonna crisp up them edges. And we're gonna uh, flatten the, the free edge of the nail. We're gonna flatten that out. Because I don't want it to be rounded at the free edge. So yeah, we're gonna flatten that out a little bit. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Like I said, I went and used that dang on <clears throat> five and one bit when I'm sorry, I just yarn, excuse me. When I could just use my hand file. See, that's my thing. I be trying to cut down some of my steps, and I go back and do it again and do it anyway. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do that anyway. I go back and literally do it anyway, even after I said I want to cut down some of the dang on steps. 
because I'm used to my nails having a certain look, and that drill just ain't give me the look that I wanted it to give. Okay? And I thought I wanted them to be round, and I changed my mind. Square it off. Mm-hmm. Square that mug off. Flatten it out. Square it off. Look at the dang um, apex. Look at the apex on these nails. They look good. I, they look good. They look fly. Wish you could. I, girl, I don't even know the song. I don't know the song, but that don't matter. Because y'all know what I'm talking about. I think it's I look fly. I look good. Touch my swag. Wish you could. But, okay, so I didn't record putting on them dang on teddy bears. Now, I can tell you where I got them from and what I used to put them on. And it was simple. And y'all know the top coat, baby. It's Beatles bitch okay that's what it is but um i used the mccart rhinestone glue you see it right there in the corner on the right hand side that's what i used to apply or adhere these um these teddy bears and i love them and i got the teddy bears from amazon yeah, they big and gummy teddy bears. Ooh, they're so pretty. And it looks so good with these nails. I chose a purple one because the um, hot pink uh, acrylic has purple reflex in it. So, yeah, it just stood out so good. Like, these nails just look so good. <sighs> I want some. I want some. Somebody need to do me some. You know, I could really remake these and, like, a dark blue color or something that would be cute everything would just be cute i'm sorry or black glitter black glitter and i'm sorry this page here is a glitter stand like glitter 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 i probably put glitter in almost all my sets some of my clients like oh no no glitter i'm like dang like i don't even want to post these because why you don't want no glitter so, yeah, I'm a big firm believer in adding glitter. Glitter gonna set that motherfucker off, period. All right, make sure you clean off. Yep, clean the sides of them nails after, you, after you've painted them. Clean the sides. I don't know what she thought she was about to do. And that'd be the thing. They'd be moving so fast. Because they'd, they'd be ready for me to be done. You can't rush greatness, baby. You can't rush greatness. But we coming to an end here. So, y'all, please like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. And I'm going to put the finished product. All right, bye.